Thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be on drugstore dupes for high-end makeup. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so I've got a few drugstore products that I feel are dupes to some higher end or luxury products. So I thought I'd share them with you. Now, mind you, you know, it's not going to be exactly the same. Okay, so the products will probably have some ingredients that are not exactly the same, or um, of course, the brand won't be the same. But what I'm really talking about in this video is how it looks on the skin, the application, the longevity, and things like that. So I've got a few here, and I'm just gonna jump right into it. And I'm gonna start off with my favorite thing okay and that would be eyelashes now I have the velour eyelashes and I absolutely love these these are in faux mink and the dupe for these would be the kiss lash couture naked drama these are the same style they look the same and what I particularly like about these eyeshadows by kit these eyelashes by kiss is that they don't give you that plasticky look okay you really do think or you, you get the feeling that they are mink so that that in itself is good this style is in chiffon I don't have my glasses on so I couldn't tell you what this style is but I'll leave it on the screen the band is the same the look is the same everything is the same these come in at about thirty dollars and these come in at a couple of bucks what well, maybe seven dollars so so if you're looking for eyelashes that look mink and are not going to give you that plasticky look definitely check these out and save about 20 bucks all right so next on the list is gel eye mask and what i'm doing is the dr denise hydro boost eye mask so these are both the same both of them even provide a little tool that you can you know get the gel that you can actually get the mask out and apply on your under your eye and they both are going to lift and hydrate and firm under your eye and after leaving it on for 10 to 15 minutes they both have the same result and this one comes in at a whopping $50 and this one comes in at $18 so if you're in the market for eye gel mask definitely save yourself about 30 bucks and pick up the good molecules you won't regret it all right so next i have this danessa myrick's color fix um this is a cream uh, i'll just call it a cream shadow um and these are really really pretty and what i'm duping that with is the new cover girl exhibitionist lid paint these two cream eyeshadows go on exactly the same they blend out exactly the same and the longevity is the same and they're very versatile you can do you can wear them as a eyeshadow alone you can use them as a base um, i've even used this one as a liner there's so many things that you can do with them i will say to just kind of be careful when you're pur purchasing the danessa myricks one i have heard people some people say that theirs dried out um, or they uh, when they bought it it was dry dried out so just kind of be careful with that but but this one comes in at $18 and this one comes in at about five or six um, it may even be cheaper than that so definitely save yourself about 10 11 bucks or so and check out the covergirl one and as far as drawbacks for the covergirl one it doesn't have that many shades whereas the Danessa Myricks she has more shades but yeah this one is a definite dupe for the Danessa Myricks cream shadow all right so next I have our brow gels and this is the benefits give me brow eye gel I know you all are familiar with it but wet and wild just came out with a brow sessive this is it right here and let me tell you these are exactly the same same shade everything and I really do like how you know of course by it being a gel you just automatically assume that once you you know brush your brows however you whichever way you want them to go you know more than likely it's going to be up that it's going to stay and I've used gels where I've gone to powder my face in the end and you know sometimes the, the brush may hit a little bit of your brow and your brow ha and your brow hairs kind of move a little bit not with this one um, so I would definitely say this is a dupe I think this one runs I think that benefit one runs almost about $30 or so and the wet and wild is like five or six dollars it might not even be that much but definitely check this one out before you shell out all of the money on this little baby right here so next I'm going to be duping a lipstick and this lipstick is by Guerlain and this comes in at a whopping $71 and I absolutely love it it's so pretty and the packaging is lovely and a lot of that uh, cost goes into the packaging but I'm duping it with the Sephora lip story so if you're looking for a very creamy matte these two are exactly the same the same consistency matter of fact next time I don't even think yes you can next time when you're in Sephora just go over to the Galan section swatch a lipstick 
then walk on over to the Sephora lip stores and swatch the lipstick you're gonna see it's the exact same consistency and the longevity is the same the application the pigmentation all of it is the same so this one comes in I think at eight dollars and again all of this uh, the casing plus the lipstick is 71 definitely just save yourself a whole lot of money and just get the lip stories because uh, these are beautiful and plus all of the shades that they have have different little stories on it and I think it's cute this is cute packaging as well all right next I'm gonna get into foundations and you all know that I, I love foundations. I just want to test them all and talk about them all <laughs> and tell you about them. But um, I'm going to talk about powder foundation. And what I'm going to be duping is this Fenty, what is this, the Pro Filter Powder Foundation. And I know everybody's familiar with it. And this is it. And what I'm going to dupe it with is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear. Comes in a little packaging like this. And this is how they look. Let me tell you, these are the, it, these are the same. I haven't looked at the ingredients. I'm sure the ingredients are different. Different, but they look exactly the same on the skin. They feel exactly the same on the skin. They even wear the same amount of time um, as each other. They're both really pretty. I've done a video using both of these. By the way, all the videos that I've done with the products, I'm definitely going to link them below just in case you kind of want to check them out and I'll provide a timestamp uh, so you all can just kind of go to it. But these are really pretty. Love these. And this one isn't that expensive, the Fenty one. I think this is like $36 and this one is 14 but yeah save yourself some save yourself some bucks and get this one and not this one all right and then the last one that i have is another foundation and this is by the Givenchy tint couture city balm this is it right here got a video on this one this one looks so pretty on the skin um it's light coverage so what i really like about this one is that it allows your natural beauty to just kind of shine through it's lightweight it's not heavy um it doesn't have a fragrance that you can smell that is going to be very irritating um, and what I'm duping it with is the Revlon Color State light cover foundation now both of these really don't have a large uh, shade range I think this one the cover girl is even worse than this one but by being such light coverage you know you could you know um, and it kind of borderlining as a tint you could you know you can get away in with some of those middle shades so to speak but they are very pretty um, I think they'd be really good for mature skin I also think that they would be good for combination and dry skin as well it's just not going to leave you uh, really really tight and um, crepey looking and old looking uh, if that makes sense um, again I'm going to leave some videos down below of you know how it looks and you can definitely you know judge for yourself but if you've been eyeballing this one I think this one comes in at 50 bucks definitely save some coins and go ahead and get the Revlon colors what is this? Color Stay Foundation. It's definitely a dupe. All right, so that's it. Short and sweet. Those are my drugstore dupes for high-end makeup and skincare. Let me know, have you duped any high-end or luxury products out there? I myself, as well as others, would love to hear about it. Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in, and until my next video, smooches.